Tuning World Bodensee was launched in 2003 and has since become the biggest tuning fair in Europe. It brings the international tuner scene to Friedrichshafen in southern Germany, next to Lake Constance, which the event is named after. This year's edition features over 1,000 models, 235 exhibitors, and 18 world premieres. The dealers also sell their parts directly at the fair and hold press conferences. There is a varied range of trends. Imaginative body color schemes are always a major aspect. The classic spoiler is subject to increasingly strict stipulations, says journalist and tuning expert Ben Arnold. Instead, body films are now being used to give the car a truly unmistakable character. You can apply this film in no time at all. It doesn't cost the earth and, at first glance, is indistinguishable from the conventional paint finish. If you're looking for a unique look, check out Herb Martinez. The American veteran of the scene is a master of pinstriping, freestyle painting without a stencil. The trend originally emerged in the U.S. back in 1940, when individuality was very important. It has a massive amateur following, but is now also a recognized profession. Most pinstripers live in the U.S. Herb Martinez has over 50 years of experience in his trade and is known as the line doctor. His work has even featured in Hollywood movies. It's very easy to make a car look longer. Just do long lines on it like that. Do panels like that. Uh, if you want to accent the body style over the fender well, you just come in like that. Um, if you want to accent how wide the hood is, how wide the back is, how tall the car is. Just fill in that area and your eye goes right to it. And your eye automatically makes it grow. There's less color over here. The tuned beauties from BMW, Brabus, and Gambala ooze power and luxury. Buying one of these will cost you a bit extra, of course. Smoking tires are part and parcel of any tuning fare, of course and bouncing vans are also part of the show. Self-made millionaire and well-known tuner Uli Anlika has brought along some treats to this year's event. In addition to this car measuring 2.7 meters long and one and a half meters wide, he has a jet ski, a motorbike, and much more besides. And it all fits into the enormous luxury caravan behind him. The price, a cool 1.2 million euros. It's a luxury caravan built with the contents of a garage, explains the auto fanatic. That comprises two mountain bikes, a racing bike made of carbon, a jet ski with 150 horsepower and weighing 120 kilograms, and a pricey Harley. There'd still be room for a motorbike or an MV Augusta and retro concept car like the Piccolo Red Gold Dream there. Also on board are the tuning clubs, the heart and soul of the scene. They present the fruits of their work in three halls and there's an award for the best bit of tuning. Fearsight CEO Klaus Wellmann explains how this year's Tuning World Bodensee took up all the halls, the entire area of the trade fair grounds. There are countless events. The big companies are all here, meaning suppliers of suspensions, tires and wheel rims. Plus, there are new manufacturers here, like Citroën and Skoda, as well as BMW. Makers like Citroën are here to present their modified parts and styling kits. In addition, there are factory-tuned models on display. The target group is, of course, motorsports fans, says Citroën's Klaus Lienert. But they're also interested in younger customer groups that the traditional product range has not managed to reach. Eight years on, the fair is a major event on the tuning calendar, with something for everyone.